What's going on everyone? Hope you all having a great day today. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the best tire setup for your WRX or STI. Uh, I have the WRX behind me here for obvious reason. Um, so I just kinda wanted to go over um, everything as far as fit wise on this platform for this generation of Subaru. Right off the bat, I just wanna say that the current tire that I am running is a Continental DWS 06 Plus. Um, it is a phenomenal tire. I've always wanted to run this tire. I've seen reviews everywhere for them. Me in the profession that I am in, that tire is a no brainer for this platform. Now, another thing that I also wanted to cover right off the bat is that the i know that there is many different brands of tire out there that would work great uh, but as you can see behind me the weather and everything this tire is going to work great for this sort of scenario um, and i'll get into that in a little bit uh, but back to the multiple brand thing depending on where you live um, obviously there's going to be a lot more or there's going to be a different tire tread wear that you would use for the location that you live in. In this case, I'm in the Pacific Northwest where it rains, you know, pretty much every day, but summertime. <laughs> so with that being said, that's why I went with the Continental because unless I am traveling, you know, in really deep snow or most of the time icy conditions, um, I, I would rather have a rated snow tire for that sort of scenario but in this case where it rains and at the most we average about six inches of snow um, most of the time it's not really ice over it or sometimes it can be but sometimes it's not whatever this tire is going to perfect the conditions that i'm going to be driving in so let's say you live in phoenix arizona i would actually recommend Excuse that truck going by. I would actually recommend a Michelin Pilot Sport for that reason. You know, it's going to be dry and hot 90% of the time, and that is where that tire performs the best, essentially. In the condition that all the conditions that I'm in, the Continental to me is just a no-brainer uh, because you know it's dry, wet, and it works for snow. Doesn't say it's rated for snow, but it works with snow. Um, there is a lot of different ratings when it comes to tires and everything like that. Uh, like more common, if you go with an all-terrain option, it is going to have a three-peak little snow rating on there. Saying it is good, it is rated for snow and ice. That is what it's basically saying. This is just uh, a good performance all season, so it's going to work for wet, wet dry and it would work for snow. I haven't personally tested it yet. I mean, winter is right around the corner for us at this current time period. <laughs> but that is why I chose the Continental DWS 6 Plus. It would, it, it's gonna work, especially with the Subaru that is all wheel drive. Uh, I just kind of want to make that point kind of right off the bat. That tire is gonna work excellent for a subaru enthusiast that lives in the pacific northwest as far as the sizing goes the stock tire size that is a 245 40 18 tire um, that came my car came with um, dunlop like summer terrain tires so and i i actually ran those tires for two years put about 25,000 miles on it or the car is at 23 so i guess 23,000 miles on those tires and it got burned out. The point I would want to make is that I was a dummy and ran those tires in the snow, which wasn't a good idea. Obviously, they're summer tires. They're not, they're not even meant for rain. Um, I was lucky enough to have a Subaru with all wheel drive to kind of get me out of some pickles. In my experience, I would instantly throw those tires away if I, you know, I guess if I felt like it, I could have afforded it the whole time. I just never, for whatever reason in my mind, never felt like purchasing Continentals should have been the first thing on my list. So I switched out those tires for these. 
And I have a picture, I'll put it on the screen, of what they looked like as I switched them out. You can see there's a lot of edge wear and a lot of um, inside, it, mainly on the inside shoulder, there's a lot of spots where there was secondary rubber. And those tires were cursed. They were always losing air. And I had two nails in them. One of them, I, there's another picture here of another nail that I had in my tire as I was switching them out. So those tires are cursed. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out why those tires wore out in 23,000 miles. Well, when you lower a vehicle, doesn't really matter what vehicle it is, you're naturally going to have negative camber, naturally. This is what happens with every time you lower a vehicle or even just a stock sports car. You see this a lot on you know, BMW M3s or, you know, any of any member of the Nissan Z family, that's just going to happen without a proper alignment. Even with a proper alignment, if you there, if it is in the specification where it's supposed to be at, it's still going to have a touch of negative camber. I did want to point out something. Negative camber isn't necessarily a tire eater. The tire eater is going to mainly draw on the front toe of the vehicle. With the, without a proper alignment and with just switching tires, you know, constantly, it's going to wear the same. Another example that I wanted to point out is if you are having extreme shoulder wear like I was, doing an alignment in the middle of that issue, it's still going to wear it on the same spot because that is just where there's less rubber. So it's gonna naturally, continuously wear out that spot. With all that, that's why the Dunlops didn't stand a chance compared to the stance and how low the car was. I mean, granted, it's not as low as a lot of people out there. I guess the premise is, now that I have a bigger size on here, it looks more like a track stance, which is what I wanted. To be honest, I never really liked the stretched look. I might have a picture here and there. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen of the before and after of that. So here's the before, stretched out. Doesn't really look that great. Here's now. Now is a lot better. I went from a 245 to a 265, 35, 18. That tire is gonna work excellently. You know, it already has. You know, we're in fall, it's raining. The tires are excellent. I have no complaints about them. I will probably do a similar video down the road of just explaining everything, of re-explaining how the tire is doing and how the tire is keeping up. So I'll just kind of keep a little video diary of how those tires are performing. Back to the main topic of why you with the Subaru WRX, or frankly, any sort of sports car should <laughs> have this this tire on here you know depending on when you live if you're getting you know a few feet of snow every year you may not want to run that tire you can but it's not exactly meant for three feet of snow in fact i wouldn't even be driving this car the way it is in that much snow but if you are in an area where it's wet all the time and it's you know, you get some snow every year, perfect. This tire is perfect. Um, there's gonna be stories of like, oh, I drove in like three feet of snow with this tire and it did amazing, good for you. Uh, but I'm not you. Frankly, this tire is going to be excellent for all year round use and it's aggressive enough and the size that you get for this car is gonna work perfect. So, tire sizing. So currently, What's on there is the 265-35, like I've said before in the video. Um, I was doing research. I was actually, I was looking at Fitment Industries. You know, a lot of people heard of them. I wish I was sponsored by them. That would be amazing, but I'm not. So researching the sizes and looking through the galleries and everything and just seeing what people run. I, in the, I had a thought of running a 275 and it would fit. Honestly, the way the car is stanced out right now, it would fit because the 265 has miles of clearance, you know, full lock, whatever. 10 millimeters more, 
I think it still would have worked perfectly fine. And there's gonna be a lot of people saying, well, why didn't you run the 275s? Well, I just had a very conservative point of view of it and saw the hundreds of people running 265s, you know, some, some with a different aspect ratio. For majority, 265, 35 is the magic number for an 18 inch wheel. So that is why I decided to just run with that. And they're awesome. I, the stance is amazing. If you are running your Subaru in the winter like I am, um, I actually just took off my little side skirt things. I'll show kind of a, a comparison between the before and, and the after of removing the side skirts. A little tidbit there. Without the ankle biting side skirts, it's, it's gonna do well this winter. Um, and with the snow and everything, the snow just kind of piled up on them and whatever. Uh, but I also wanted to touch on that as well. Kind of winterizing the WRX. I am going to be throwing on a couple of new coats of paint on the calipers because they are starting to chip. Um, so I will be doing that here in a little bit. I don't have time today, but you know, another day. I will be doing that. We got refreshed calipers, gotta get them back to yellow. That kind of little little snippet there, kind of got a little sidetracked. Oh, I just kind of wanted to have that perspective of everything. I know this is not really an action packed video, but uh, I did want to touch on everything and look at the fitment and show you guys the tires that I am running. They are phenomenal. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had an amazing day. Thank you. And uh, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button while you're leaving a like. Because I know you, I, I see you scrolling. So leave a like and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.